Hi, this is Nick from Creative 111, and this week we're going to talk about how to map your keyboard inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. For all of your keyboard mapping, I think the most important question is, what task are you repeating all the time that should be mapped as a keyboard shortcut so that you can save time? For instance, I find myself constantly selecting a clip here in the project panel, right or control clicking, and then going to label and selecting a default label color. And then I often think to myself, wouldn't it be better if that was mapped to a keyboard shortcut? Because currently none of these colors are mapped to a keyboard shortcut. For another example is something that you could map as a keyboard shortcut. Take a look at the clip menu. You'll notice things such as automate to sequence don't actually have any shortcut combination next to them here on the Mac menu, unlike enable or link. And we can choose to have our keyboard mapped to this as a shortcut. In order to do this on my Mac, I'm going to go to the Premiere Pro menu and choose keyboard shortcuts. If you're on a PC, you're going to access this from the edit menu. By default, it will show as Adobe Premiere Pro default keyboard until you actually make a change. Going back to those labels, the first thing I'll do is a search down here for the label commands. I'll type in the search box label. Under the edit section, I see all the options for labeling clips. And since I use Violet, Iris, and Caribbean, those are the ones I'm most interested in mapping. One way to do this is to actually just select a letter here from your keyboard. If you click down here, such as on the V key, I will see that under Option and Shift, nothing is currently mapped here. I'll confirm that by also pressing the I key because I want to map additional letters here. That Option Shift I is also available under I for Iris. And if I go to the C key, Option Shift is also available for Option Shift C for Caribbean. So now that I know that those keys are free, I'll select the V key, and I'm just gonna simply grab the violet shortcut over to that Option Shift, and you'll see a plus icon appears. And once I release my mouse, I see that violet is now mapped to Option Shift and the V key. Also that my keyboard layout preset has now changed to custom. So as you can see, Premiere Pro has some preventative methods in place to prevent you from overwriting the default keyboard by switching to a custom keyboard the minute that you make a change here in the keyboard shortcuts layout and map a new key. So let's continue this. Let's go ahead and map the iris color label and just make sure I've clicked on the I key. And I'm just gonna now drag over here and to Option Shift I and see that iris is now mapped. Lastly, let me go to the C key. Let's now map the Caribbean color. This is actually a green color, if you're not familiar with it. And over to Option Shift C, Caribbean is now mapped. I'll go over here to Save As. You'll see that the keyboard layout preset name is set to custom. And I'm going to change this to Labels. Once I press OK, this keyboard preset is actually saved on your system. So you could go on your system and find out where it's saved and then share it with someone else. If I press OK, now I can see some of those handy shortcuts in action. Let me try this out here. I'm going to select one of the clips here and then type in the Option Shift V. And you might not see this in this view, but I'm actually going to slip over to List View to see that that now is a violet color. Let's try it also on shot 717 here, but I'll make it Caribbean instead by pressing Option Shift C. You'll see that it goes over to the Caribbean color. And on a color that is mapped with that purple color, I'll go Option Shift I to show you that the iris shortcut works as well. So there you have it. Think about what functions you use most often and consider mapping them as a keyboard shortcut so that you can speed up your workflow. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and I'll see you around the channel sometime soon.